Hi, I'm Jan Fabian Wallach, and I have a watercolor painting tip of the day. I love this tip. It's great technique for painting foliage, uh, flower backgrounds, landscape foregrounds, just a great texture. All you'll need is an ordinary pump style spray bottle. Now you can use a trigger sprayer as well if you put it on its widest broadcast. What we're after are individual droplets. Let me show you how this one works. So I'm going to hold the painting at a slight angle and I'm going to have the spray bottle 8 to 10 inches away. Just start to spray Give it an aggressive spray so that you get individual droplets. If I hold it in the light, I can see when those droplets start to mingle together. That's what I'm looking for. When I've got enough droplets that are mingled together, I take a brush loaded with paint, absolutely loaded with paint, and I'm going to touch in just to the very top of some of those droplets. And look at the beautiful texture that happens with that. I'm trying very hard not to touch into the paper, just the top of those droplets. Isn't that a beautiful texture? Let me show you what it looks like on some paintings. In this case, I used it in the background. What a lovely, ruffled, lacy texture. Here's a painting that I used it in the foreground, I used it in the background. Again, foliage. And finally, I have a painting that I used it a lot on. Some foliage, some pine trees in the background, but also just foreground foliage uh, falling forward. Try this technique with a spray bottle. Enjoy painting. If you want to see other tips and techniques with watercolor painting used in step-by-step how-to videos, go online to artistsnetwork.tv. In the search box, type in watercolor for beginners.